Yo yo, TJ here. We thought we'd make a guide for all the weapons in Monster Hunter Rise to help you guys get a better understanding of how each one works. These guides are aimed to be more beginner friendly rather than anything too advanced. Although, if you're looking for a refresher on a weapon, you're more than welcome. And with that, let's get right into it. In this video, I'll be covering both the light bowgun and the heavy bowgun. There's a lot of important information that both bowguns share, even though their game plans are quite different. But to start, I'll talk about the bowgun's buttons first. Holding the ZL button allows you to aim your gun. As a result of this, the silkbind attacks are changed to the R button for ranged weapons. Pressing ZR allows you to shoot, X lets you reload, and pressing X plus A lets you use this swing with the gun. When using the bow guns, it's important to understand the critical distance for your shots. Every different ammo type has a critical distance. Hitting a shot on its critical distance will give the shot the most damage it can do. So try to hit all your shots at their critical distance so you don't lose out on key damage. There are two ways to tell if the shot is at its critical distance. The first one is that the reticle will be orange like this. And the other is that if you land a shot at its critical distance, you'll see a slight screen shake. I'll cover some of the common shot types critical distances. Normal shot's critical distance is about this mid-range. Pierce shot's critical distance are from mid to long range. Pierce shots have the unique property to pierce monsters, dealing consecutive hits as it travels through one. Try to aim the shot at a monster's head so that it'll go down the distance of the monster for big damage. And even though the critical distance is mid to long range, you're going to want to try to shoot your shots from mid range so that the shot stays in critical distance as it travels through the target. Wide shot's critical distance is close range, as this is practically a shotgun shot. Shrapnel shot's critical distance is close to mid range, but ideally, you're going to want to shoot these at close range as well, as they're very similar to the wide shot. And elemental and status shots practically have no critical distance, with the only caveat being that you can't stand a zone away and hit the monster with them. Every single bowgun, light or heavy, will have different ammo types it can load, as well as different ways it can interact with said ammo types. I'll quickly run through the icons that dictate how a shot will interact with its respective gun. The number beside the bullet type will tell you how many shots you can have actively loaded at a given time. You can walk around while shooting if it has the footsteps icon. If you see the green reload icon, you can move around while reloading that ammo. The blue arrow is a single fire reload icon. This means that after firing a single shot, the bowgun will immediately reload the shot. But don't worry, you're able to move around while reloading the shot, even if it doesn't have the reload icon. And the orange triangles is the rapid fire icon. This only applies to light bowguns. It means that you have the ability to rapid fire that ammo. With all that out of the way, I'll start to talk about the specifics and game plan for each of the bowguns, starting with the light bowgun. The light bowgun is a highly mobile weapon with the ability to rapid fire shots. This more versatile weapon can fire various shots to affect monsters with various status ailments and debuffs. After firing a shot with the light bowgun, dodging results in this quick step. Following that up right after will give you a slide. The light bowgun has access to something called the wyvern blast. You can use these by pressing the A button. This places an explosive round on the ground that any time it's hit will cause it to explode. This includes your shots too. You can place up to three of these at a time and they recharge over time. These can also be fired during the silkbind attack, the fanning vault, to stick it to a monster's back. And if there, you're able to easily shoot it and the monster. As mentioned earlier, light bowguns also have the ability to rapid fire certain types of ammo. When a shot can be rapid fired, the act of firing the shot will result in multiple shots being fired at once. Thankfully, this only comes at the cost of the one shot you fired, giving you a bit more bang for your buck. A lot of light bowguns tend to have status or debuff shots. Using these can help out a lot, as the debuffs can be an asset to any hunt. Otherwise, another big focus for the light bowgun is using stronger ammo types you can rapid fire. 
If any of these ammos are status shots, using these can help out a lot since the multiple hits can apply the debuffs very quickly. Since the weapon is really fast, it's ideal to use the mobility to kite around monsters. You can also do this around your Riven Blasts to try to get in some extra damage. But from here, we'll take a look at the Heavy Bowgun. The Heavy Bowgun is a slower powerhouse that lets you fire a barrage of powerful shots to cut down monsters. Like the Light Bowgun, pressing B after a shot lets you do a quick sidestep. But with the Heavy Bowgun, you can chain these quick sidesteps. If you press A with the Heavy Bowgun, you're able to load your special ammo. There are different special ammo types like the Wyvern Heart, a series of rapid fire shots, and the Wyvern Snipe, which is a really big shot. This ammo will recharge over time when you're not using it, but watch out when trying to use them as it has a really long load animation. The Heavy Bowgun also has the ability to charge its shots, giving your shots the chance to deal about double the damage. The Heavy Bowgun is a high raw damage gun, so deciding between the ammo types shouldn't be as much of a concern, with the stronger shots typically being a good option. If the gun has status shots, they're still great to use as the debuffs are always helpful. Charged shots also deal a good bit more damage, but they're ideal with harder hitting ammo that you can carry or load less of at a time. With that, thank you all for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Monster Hunter Rise, including more weapon tutorials. Check out the video on the right for more content you might be interested in. Until next time, bye!